All right, let's generate a, an ID for each student. Now, we want each student to have their own ID. Now, when I say something like that, you should immediately think of something that we either need a random number, but uh, we actually want to do a static. We want to work with the static figure here. So uh, why, why do I work with static? And again, this is something I would mention more in my other course. Static means if we have a static variable here, for example, we have, stu um, let's make a private int private static int uh, we'll just say ID and I'm going to set it to 1001 so every time we create a new student uh, they're gonna have this value in other words this, this value will stay with the class in fact the cost of courses also should be static what I mean by static and how how does this kind of play into object oriented programming so what I mean is that if something is static, that means that the value or the property is not specific to an object, but is something that is true for all objects. For it, it's more, it belongs to the class, not the instance of the object. In other words, the cost of the course is not something that's that's only true for the instance of the object. It's just true for a student. And an ID, uh, which we'll work with here in just a moment, is something that we want to stay with the class. So every time, actually, I'm changing this to a thousand. Every time we create a new student, then what we want to do is, is increment ID by one. So when we create one student, then their ID will be 101001. If we create an, another student, a second student, then that value of 1001 is going to be retained in this class. So then we add one to it. Now their ID will be 1002, and so on. So that's the, uh, that's the usage of static in this instance. Um, okay, but our instructions were to create a five-digit ID with the first number being their grade level. Okay, so we need to kind of enhance this. Um, now we're going to generate an ID here. So we want a private. Again, we don't want this accessible to the outside. This will be internally, internally handled. Uh, private, and we can return a string or we could say let's just return um, string and we'll call this uh, set ID okay now when we set the ID what's what's our ID going to be it's going to be the uh, static ID and then the first or the uh, the grade number so we let's see we have this class ID and then we have the unique student ID that belongs to the instance. So this is what we want to set. Um, we want to set our student ID. So in fact, I should probably be more explicit and say set student ID. Student ID, once again, is grade level plus the static ID, or, or the ID, I should say. OK, now I'm going to make this string instead of an integer. And because uh, once it's a. Um, once it's a, um, once we get out of this ID, we can actually just convert it into a string. And so we can say um, we want the grade level, grade year. So we say grade year. Um, and we can do this, grade year, and then concatenate uh, ID and say return. Let's see. So this should actually, because we have this string here, it will then treat this as a string and not a number. So it won't actually add the two numbers, but we have this little, this uh, kind of makeshift uh, string argument, which will make the entire s statement switch to a string. Okay, so here we want to, uh, uh, let's see here. So we want to set our student ID Actually, instead of returning, we'll say student ID equals. So we'll say this dot student ID equals equals this here. And let's see, we might need to cast this as a string. Let's see what the error message says here. Change type of student to. Yes, I thought I'd change that to a string. Yeah, so this should be a string.
Okay, so uh, so we're gonna make this void. So if it's set ID, then uh, yeah, we can leave this as void. Now let's put this ID increment inside the set set student ID to kind of just leave it outside of this constructor. So now we're gonna create this constructor. When we've created that, we've got their name, last name, and grade. Now we're gonna call the set student ID. And when we call that function, we're going to increment ID by one. And then we're going to have the their ID be the grade level plus that, that ID that was set. And let's see here again. Let me have this be before we print the information so that I can print the info here. And also say set student ID so we can make sure we're working here. So this should just be kind of here temporarily. We don't want to set the ID. We want to get the student ID. There we go. Okay, let's see if this is working here. So I'm going to run this and student first name, Jim William, and their sophomore. So, okay, so Jim William 2, that's their sophomore year, 21001. Okay, so I think that is it, right? So we have 2 and then 1001. If you create another one, then it would be 21002 because that ID would attach to it. Okay, so we have our student ID that is being followed with the class again. Um, that this is one usage of the of the static. And uh, let's see if there's anything else we have to do here. We set the ID, and that's pretty much all we want to do in this video. Okay, so we'll uh, come back in the next video. We'll implement a couple more things and uh, keep enhances as we go.